name's Janelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited as it's the perfect grey overcast and rainy day outside and I have a full sewing day planned. I'm actually going to be making myself a coat out of this amazing quilted velvet that I picked up a couple of months ago and I've never made a coat before in my life so I thought it would be fun to film the whole process from start to finish. So first let me show you the pattern I'm going to be using for the coat. It's Simplicity 8742. I was tossing up between Simplicity 8797 and this one and decided to go with this one as it's just that little bit more simple um, because the fabric is so busy. I didn't want the coat to be really busy as well as I thought that would be a little bit much and I think it will be a little bit easier to make as well, hopefully. This morning I spent some time tracing out the pattern in my size what I like to do is just get some of the trace fabric and lay it over the pattern, trace it out in my size. So that way I can keep all the sizes intact if I ever want to make this pattern for someone else down the track. And now I've got the pattern cut out in my size that I can just keep in the envelope for next time I ever want to make this pattern for myself. I most likely won't be able to make the whole coat today. So this might be filmed over multiple days, but yeah, let's get cutting out the fabric. I also just wanted to quickly mention, and I have mentioned this in a previous video, that I first got the concept of making this beautiful velvet into a coat through Alice Nightingale, who is a dressmaker based in Brisbane. She actually sells these coats on her website, so if you're interested in picking one of those up for yourself, then I definitely recommend you check her out. I just wanted to quickly give her some credit as I absolutely love her work. I've cut out all the pieces ready to start sewing. The pattern doesn't have a lining as part of it, but I have cut out all the pieces in a lining fabric as well because the quilted fabric kind of has this interfacing on the back of it, which I'm not sure how that's going to last after a few wears. So I'm going to use a lining underneath the fabric as well. So hopefully that will turn out okay. So let's start sewing this coat up. I'm just having a read of the instructions and it looks like the first thing I have to do is make the pockets for the front of the coat. So I'm just going to grab my pocket pieces and the pocket lining pieces as well. Looks like it's going to be pretty easy. They're just these little square pockets. So it's a good place to start, I suppose. So the first thing it says to do is stitch the pocket lining to pocket along the upper edge in a fifth of an eighth inch seam, leaving an opening to turn as shown. Oh uh, yeah, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Also, because the quilting fabric is a bit thick, I'm struggling to get the pins through them. So I'm going to be using my little sewing clips for this project, um, which is good because I haven't used them since I've made my raincoat. So I'm glad to be using them again. <laughs> I have made the pockets. I'm really happy with them. 
they're lined nicely and they've just got this little opening here that I have to hand sew shut now. And I've forgotten just how much I enjoy following a pattern. Usually when I sew, I just make it up as I go, but there's something so therapeutic about following the instructions and getting the stitching perfect and yeah, just doing things properly, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna hand stitch this shut now and then the pockets will be attached to the front of the coat. pockets are on how cute are they and I'm also really chuffed with my pattern matching skills here I'm not gonna lie and say I don't try to pattern match I really do try but it doesn't always work out this well look at that really happy with that So it's time to put the whole coat together now and this is where I need to start figuring out how I'm going to go about putting the lining in. So at the moment I have just copied the same process for this lining piece as I did for the back pieces and I've kind of just sandwiched them together matching the seams together and I think I'm just going to have to do the same for each piece so just put the lining underneath each piece as I stitch them all together. There's probably a more professional way to go about it but this is just the way I'm going to do it and hopefully it'll turn out okay. I would like to have the lining enclosing all the seams but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that so I'm just going to overlock the seams as I go. make this slippery lining situation a little bit easier to work with I have decided I'm going to baste the lining fabric to the main fabric so it's all pinned right around the edges and now I'm just going to stitch the two together with like a basting stitch so a, a longer stitch which will be easy to unpick later on but hopefully that will keep it all nicely together as I stitch the garment together and make it a bit easier to work with. at the moment I'm nearly done I'm surprised how much I got done today I've just got the sleeves to finish and then I need to put the facing on the front here but I'm so happy with how it's looking so far it's day two of making my velvet coat of dreams and I am so happy with how it looks so far. I'm going to be working on the sleeves this morning and I've decided I'm going to do the sleeves a little bit differently to how it's shown in the pattern. Um, they kind of have like this folded up cuff thing but I'm just going to do just a normal sleeve. But seriously how divine is this coat? So this is what it looks like inside out and I'm really happy with how the lining has turned out as well. Like it's 
not maybe ideal just having it overlocked at the edge there but it looks pretty neat so I'm happy with that. Let's get working on these sleeves. just attached the front facing to the coat and I'm going to stitch that on now but yeah it's really starting to come together. And the front facing is on. Look at it. I'm so so happy with how it's looking. So now all that's left to do is just hem the entire coat, which involves quite a bit of hand stitching. So I'm just going to pop a podcast on now and yeah, just get started on it. I doubt I'm going to finish it all today, but I'll just do as much as I can and see where I get up to. What feels like literally years of hand stitching all the facing to the inside the coat is finally finished I did also decide to top stitch all along the front and the bottom of the coat as because the velvet was kind of puffy it wasn't sitting as well as I'd hoped so after doing that it's made all the difference so let me try it on so you can see coming with me on this coat making journey. I'm so so happy with how it's turned out. It's definitely going to be a favorite of mine next winter. As for the pattern I used I'm actually really impressed with it. I didn't change it up much. Did I change it at all? I don't think I did apart from the top stitching at the end but um yeah really impressed with this pattern. I definitely recommend you give it a go if you want to make a coat out of it as well. Like always if you enjoyed this video then be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one and come find me on Instagram at Rosary Apparel if you'd like to see some of the other things I make. Thanks for watching!